2020 COVID-19 version of Veterans Day ceremony here in Amherst. Thank you all for coming. We're going to start off with a prayer from the chaplain, Rob McAllister. Carry on, Camp Hut! Hot summer! In honor of those who have served and are serving in armed forces, Almighty God, be with us as we come together this day to pay tribute to those who have served and those who are serving in our armed forces. We are grateful for their dedication and commitment and the countless selfless acts they perform so that we might be continue to enjoy freedom. We thank you for a great land and the wisdom of our founding fathers and for those who are down through the ages fought the forces of evil and gave their lives to preserve the freedoms we enjoy. We are grateful for life, for liberty, and for the freedom to pursue happiness. As we begin this day, we will now have a moment of silence to remember those who have gave their lives, those missing in action, those held as POW. Continue your blessings upon us as we enjoy the events that we have planned and may each of us as individuals and as a nation continue to acknowledge you. Amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallant. Thank you very much. I'd like to take a moment after we hear our last couple bells. That's more than 11 bells. Thank you. Now I would like to take the opportunity to introduce the town manager for a few uh, comments about what we're doing here in Amherst this Veterans Day. Thank you, Steve. You're a great veterans director for the town and for Northampton and the entire region. Um, I'm really proud to be here today. This is a very special day for me. As you I think I've mentioned before that my, both my father and my mother were veterans. My, uh, my mom was a Navy nurse. My dad was a, in the Army in World War II, was a, a, a POW, and also a disabled vet. So this is a very meaningful day for me um, and for my, all my siblings. Uh, 
I really appreciate that this happened today and during COVID time. Um, we purposely did not invite members of the town council people just because of social distancing, but we are recording it for Amherst Media. So it is important that this continue, that we recognize this important day. As part of that, town employees gathered this morning and, got, and delivered 65 bags of gifts to veterans who live in the town of Amherst. Um, and these are small tokens of our appreciation to people. Uh, and I appreciate the, all the town employees who came together this morning under the direction of Mary Beth Ogilevitz, our Director of Senior Services, uh, to pull this off. It was really fun to be able to do, and I will also recognize that Representative Mindy Dom was there as well. So again, thank you um, to everyone for everything that you do. Thank you for the service that you have provided over the years. Thank you, Paul. And it was fun. It was nice to go around and do that. Um, I have a quick little note that I would like to speak on with this mask. Um, and But before I start, I would like to say thank you to the town of Amherst for signing the pledge for the coalition of the Hoyle Soldiers Home. Uh, we are working hard to improve the conditions there, build a new wing, and we are working we're fortunate because we have Representative Dom on the Joint Council, uh, the Joint Committee that's investigating the future of the Hoyle Soldiers Home. So, um, but I, I also just wanted to let people know about the coalition. So in honor of Veterans Day, the Hoyle Soldiers Home Coalition has created an online vid visual tribute to honor and remember veterans who died from COVID-19 while under the care of the Soldiers Home as well as veterans at the home who died from other causes during the pandemic. Uh, the coalition tribute can be viewed at, and we'll, we'll try to get it to Amherst Media so they can put the link, but it's HolyokeSoldiersHomeCoalition.org and you can find it says tribute. With consent from the family members of the veterans, and I'm almost positive two of them are from the town of Amherst uh, or had lived in Amherst. Um, includes images, a short narrative, and a link to the funeral notice or obituary for the public to learn about the veterans' life and service to the nation. The coalition will also include photos and information on any current veteran resident who is at the soldier's home. To date, the coalition has documented the names of 32 veterans whose family members have confirmed died of COVID-19 while residents of the home and another five veterans who died from other causes in addition. The coalition tribute lists one current resident of the home. Our coalition hopes the public takes the time this Veterans Day to remember all of those veterans. All were sons and daughters of the Commonwealth who left home at an early age to serve our great nation. But those who have died during this pandemic, we ask that you think not only of their passing, but also remember the glory of their spirit. Family members of any veteran who died from COVID-19 while under the care of the soldiers home in Hoyo, or of current residents who would like the veteran's name listed should contact the coalition by sending an email to that site. The coalition was formed in June this year when a group of family members of veterans who died of COVID-19 joined with members of the veteran community in Western Massachusetts to advocate for significant improvements to the current soldiers' home. And I will simply add, as a member of that coalition, if you want every day to be Veterans Day, think of those veterans at the end of their lives. Write your legislator, honest to goodness, a letter really matters to them. Even if, as I know, Representative Dom is very supportive in the new changes we want to make, but you would give her extra power if you went and sent her a letter endorsing that move. So um, that's where we can make a difference and that's why I ask all of you here today um, to reach out to your state rep and your state legislator and let the governor know that we want a new and improved home in, so in Hoyo for our soldiers. Thank you. Um, we are wrapping up today's ceremony. I want to thank everybody for this abbreviated ceremony. Uh, fortunately, it was a very nice day, so that's enjoyable. I'm going to turn it over to the chaplain to give us our closing prayer.
As we conclude this ceremony, we remember again all those who served and are serving in our armed forces. Today and every day, may we honor our veterans. May we continue to highly esteem those worthy men and women who have given their best when they were called upon to serve and protect their country. And now, Lord, may we be gracious and merciful to us. And let your good favor and blessings be with each of us. Help us as we seek to live as good citizens and carry out our responsibilities to always honor you. Amen. How about singing God Bless America, guys? Yeah. Sounds good to me. Hey, why don't you get her? There we go. We want to do it right. That's she right. can lead us. Over to you, young lady. God bless America, land that I love, stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above, from the mountains to the prairie to the earth. Thanks, Alana. Thanks, everybody. Thank you to the BFW members and the American Legion for putting this together and participating in our abbreviated ceremony. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, town manager. Thank you.